I guess our collections are always influenced by something natural, something elemental, something sort of spiritual, scientific. Kind of scientifically proven, isn't it, that out of a recession comes a lot of creativity. So can you tell us where it all began? We had separate educations, but we always I was well, at private school, she was at state school. <laughs> I'm separate up. <laughs> Silver spoon, <laughs> cans of estate. So if we took one of your dresses, can you talk me through the process of, of that from start to finish? Uh, we begin with the drawing. So we make drawings on tracing paper. And then we'll have a silk screen um, that is empty, hasn't got any image on it. And you coat it with a light sensitive emulsion and then you put it into our toilet, which is our dark room, <laughs> and um, it dries, I normally do it, so it dries overnight. And then you put it in front of a, a big UV light, and the black areas prevent the light from getting to it. So then you have this kind of negative stencil. Then you can print your fabric, and then you pass your dye through the screen with a squeegee, lift the screen off, you can print another piece of fabric, then the screen gets washed out and you dry the fabric, the fabric goes into the steamer, once it comes out of the steamer it goes into a cold bath and then it gets barbed until <laughs> the water runs clear and that's when we put it in the washing machine <laughs> and hey presto, it's ready to make into a piece of fabulous fashion. <laughs> So you print the fabric, do you then cut and sew the garments or is that, does that happen elsewhere? Um, in the beginning it was just myself and Harriet and we did all the patterns, the cutting, the sewing. For all our the first, production. All the production. We used to do kind of 24 hour days and now it's a luxury. And now you stroll in at nine, nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> now we have production, three buildings down which is amazing. We got introduced to Islam by our pattern cutter. Hello Islam! Hi Islam. We've got the fabric for you. How are you doing? <laughs> and you have to find people that actually do things better than you can do them. Because then it, it feels, feels worth really while. good. Yeah. Getting the sewing back from Islam. Well, it's perfect. Yeah, absolutely perfect. I mean, not a stitch missed. <laughs> so it's kind of a freedom that comes with yeah. being your own boss. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't have to answer to anyone. We're both quite um, <laughs> independent. independent. <laughs> there weren't really opportunities to work for other people when we graduated. You could, like, but you'd be doing something really boring and being paid nothing. So you might as well do something really interesting that you enjoy doing and be paid nothing. 